Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. This is a 2015 Janu Mary Fisher 695. This style of boat seems to be getting increasingly popular and I'm gonna to try to explain why I think that is as we take a walk around and a look through this one. It's powered by a Yamaha 150 horsepower outboard. It's only got 179 hours on the clock. It has a fabulous spec, this particular example, with a bow thruster, electric anchor windlass, camper canvas covers, aft cockpit seating, um, cockpit fridge, Lorance electronics, even a twin axle road trailer. So um, a really high spec example, and it's in beautiful condition. The 695 is just under seven meters long. It has a beam of eight foot four inches, but it still has room on board for up to eight rated passengers. You can sleep four people in it. It has a separate toilet compartment. It has a nice little compact galley in there as well. Two set seating areas, inside and out. And uh, it crucially has a hard top fixed roof. So it's perfect for our Northern European climate. Um, and with 150 horsepower in the transom of this one, performance is pretty good too. They get up on plane quickly. This one is in beautiful condition. 2015, just under 180 hours on it. It has done very little. Um, taking a walk down along the port side of her. Gel coat looks lovely. A nice aluminium rub rail with a black PVC insert. Chunky aluminium cleat up forward. Nice stainless steel bow rails. Rub rails all good all the way to the transom. This boat also has extended swim platforms laid in teak. So it's real teak on the platforms. Platform in this port side is in beautiful condition. And uh, yeah, they're a very smart looking boat. And down along the port side, this one's in lovely shape. We have a nice uh, polished stainless steel anchor roller. There's a seven and a half kilogram anchor on this one. The bow, the front of the bow is in very good condition. No trailer damage or anything, which is very good. Nice condition here. Shape. Rub rail looks good. Bow rails, they're all in good condition. Yeah, very smart looking. Sliding side windows, you get the Jano badge up on the wheelhouse in the 695 model identifier up on the roof and everything looks in really good shape down along the starboard side and again extend this one platform on this side laid in teak folding four step bathing ladder so this one's fitted with this yamaha 150 horsepower outboard it's only got 179 hours on the clock so sort of barely even run in it's fitted with a three blade Yamaha prop. It's a 14 and a half inch pitch prop and it's in uh, perfect condition. You can see we've got the seat back pushed forward there. So that allows you to tilt the engine completely up out of the water whenever the boat's uh, you know, floating on her berth. So it means you can keep the engine in great condition. This is one of the reasons that these boats are so popular is that they're outboard powered and outboard engines tend to be, particularly this one as well, 150, it's very fuel efficient but also much easier to maintain than a stern drive. This one, this engine looks to be in great shape and we are gonna get, a, hopefully in the next week or two, get a chance to run this thing on the water and show you just exactly how it's performing. But nice, clean, tidy engine. Below the waterline, everything looks good as well. We've got deck scuppers, important starboard side. So any water that finds its way on the deck will drain out there. D-rings here that you could, you can use that for tying down onto the trailer, but you could also rig up a water sports bridle and use that as a, your tow points for towing uh, water toys or, or skis or whatever. Obviously they're not a ski boat, but you know, if you're just looking to do sort of general family water sports, it can do that, no problem. So you can board the boat either from the stern or over the gunnels on the port and starboard side. There's little molded tread steps there and then little steps to get down into the cockpit on both sides, which is handy. We've got our shore power connection point here. We're actually plugged in the shore power at the minute, so we can show you all the shore power features inside this one. So shore power plug there, Fuel fill point is here, so it's quite handy. We've got this manual bilge pump here. So if you have a power failure or whatever, you've still got a manual bilge pump. This is your deck scupper on this side. So any water finds its way in here will drain to that corner and out through that transom fitting that we saw outside. And then we have a filler piece that we can put in here to give you a full width bench seat across the stern. So I'll just quickly pop this in. Show you how this works. So it goes in there, obviously close the door over, and then you get this cushion. It sits on top, and then that extends your your rear bench seating 
all the way across the transom. You can actually drop that table down as well and we have a big cushion that goes on top of it so you can make this whole area up into a sun lounger. If you check out the photo gallery on the, the Mary Fisher 695 page of our website, you'll see photographs of all these, you know, the different seating areas configured in all their, in all their various guises. Under the hatch, big laserette. This lifts up on a couple of gas struts and you've got a bit of storage space in here and access to your uh, your service. You've obviously got this little step here and then walk around side deck down along the port side. But the cabin wheelhouse is offset slightly to port. So it's asymmetric. So you've got a wider side deck up along the starboard side. So that's the sort of side that you'll mainly walk up and down to get out onto the fore deck. So nice wide walk around side deck. Everything's everywhere you step is all molded non-skid. So this whole area is all molded non-skid. So it's very, you know, you feel very safe whenever you're walking around up here. And uh, yeah, all in beautiful condition too. So we've got our anchor locker here, huge big anchor locker. We've obviously got that seven and a half kilogram anchor. We've got a Lumar electric anchor windlass. You can control that from the switch panel here. With a huge big opening uh, hatch in the roof so that slides back in those aluminium runners. You've got navigation light, your anchor light back there, VHF antenna. You see these bars over here? Um, there is a full canvas enclosure for this aft cockpit. Again, that's another option on these boats. Not all of them have it, but this one does. So the bar comes up here. You've got the roof section comes out like that. Vertical rear curtain side curtains and all that sort of stuff. And with the sun lounger cushion here, you can potentially sleep another two people out here underneath the canvas. So that's nice to have as well. And they've got this triple pane sliding glass door that's lockable and it gives you access into the cabin. Um, and because it's triple pane, it opens, you know, very wide as well. So a real nice flow through the boat um, as well. Laid in the wheelhouse is the galley on the starboard side. You've got your fridge underneath that seat on the port side. This is a nice little dinette seating arrangement here, uh, which is very configurable. So forward V-berth up front, and then the uh, helm station on the starboard side and the enclosed toilet and compartment in front of that. Nice and bright and airy throughout. And uh, this one's in beautiful condition as well. So we've got the dinette on the port side. So nice, uh, you know, decent sized table. You can sit four people around it and you can make up this whole area into a double berth. So you've got double berth here, sleep two people up here, you can sleep two people down there as well. So that's your four berths. The galley consists of a sink. Let's just fold this seat forward. So the helm seat can be tilted forward whenever you're using the galley like that. It gives you a bit more countertop space. You have a little sort of sink there. We've got a portable camping gas stove here and then you've got your the other side of your sink there so pressurized cold water as i'm just flipping this seat back around uh, to show you how this works whenever you're underway as well so that cushion goes in there these fellow cushions you can take out for the forward berth and then see the way this is all molded non-skid so that works as like your foot well and then you can set up here You've got the stainless steel handrail here, little like sort of tray area for bits and bobs, two wee recessed cup holders there as well. And then you sit, look straight out the forward windscreen. This, this center piece of the bed can also be removed during the day if you want to use this as just extra seating area. It's all molded down skid underneath. And then this is the uh, enclosed heads compartment. So fully enclosed toilet compartment with a pump out jab screw sea toilet and then this is your helm station so a nice little bucket style helm seat you can adjust that fore and aft it has a flip up bolster as well so if you want to if you want to stand at the helm you've got room to stand here and this is my eye level if i'm standing so you're looking out through the center of the windscreen a very nicely appointed helm station so let's take a look through this and uh, i'll show you what we have so lorance electronics pack on this boat including this HDS7 chart plotter. So it's a seven inch touchscreen chart plotter. There is a Lowrance Link 5 VHF radio. 
as well. Um, this boat is obviously fitted with a bow thruster, so the plotter is a chart plotter and fish finder, so it gives you your depth of water, fish finder functionality. We've got our Yamaha engine instruments then as well, so just key on. So this gives you a pile of info, actually, all digital, full digital instrumentation. So And this one over here is your taco, so digital taco. This gives you your total engine hours, so currently 178.9 hours. This is your power trim gauge, this is your taco. So we are going to try and get this boat on the water. Um, that's We're shooting this video uh, it's the 21st of January here, 2023, and the weather's atrocious. We've had ice all week and snow, um, so it's difficult to get boats on the water this time of year, but we will try our best um, in the next few weeks to get this boat on the water and show you exactly how it performs. You can expect this boat to get on plane quickly because it's 150 horsepower in a 7 meter hull, just under 7 meters, and it's a 14 and a half pitch prop, so they do get up. I have plenty of experience driving these boats. They get up on plane quickly, which is great, even with a full load of passengers. The uh, 12 volt switch panels are just down to the uh, left hand side of the steering wheel here. So, too. so a nice compact dash, black gel coat so there's no glare off the windscreen. A very comfortable position, throttle and shift falls easily to hand here. And uh, yeah, that's it. Nice compact little dash, everything in perfect condition. And finally we have this open and roof hatch. So it's very easy to open, just lift it up, slides back in the runners. And uh, on a nice day, with that hatch open, with its two sliding windows and the rear door open, you can get a nice flow of air through the boat. There's a full curtains pack for the boat. We've had them uh, dry cleaned, but they're, I just haven't put them back in yet, but you can basically put a curtain up here. You can put the full curtains, basically the, for the forward screen. You see all the li these little uh, eyelets here? This is where the curtains attach to. There's steering compass there as well. So you can put the curtains up, on the side windows, the front windscreen, and the back door. The trailer that you see the boat sitting on here is included in the advertised asking price. Um, so it's a twin axle SBS roller coaster trailer, so full rollers on it. So it makes launching and recovery a breeze. If you like the look of this Mary Fisher 695 and you want to find out more about it, then please sign up for VIP access on our website at gulfstreamboatsales.com. All you have to do is pop your name and email address into the box below this video on our site at gulfstreamboatsales.com and you can get VIP access, which is completely free. Once you've signed up, then navigate back to the Mary Fisher 695 page and you can watch our full length video tour where I go through the entire boat in a lot of detail. I'll show you around every storage compartment. We'll go through the dash in detail, give you a look under the hood of the engine and just sort of try and show you exactly the condition that this boat's in and help you to figure out whether it might be the right one for you. So that's sign up for VIP access at gulfstreamboatsales.com. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video.